Hello guys, welcome to this channel and I hope everyone's still in good healthy and uh, nice to meet you all and today I'm going to share a tutorial this tutorial is, it is based on the case that I found in our community and it is coming from uh, Catalina Crespo so she was asking about can I do this one in Canva I think she saw two elements in Canva with uh, this torsion text in here so she would like to use her own words but she doesn't know no idea how to make this one in Canva is it possible or not well as I confess to you that uh, this one can be done in Canva 100% we can make it as long as you know how the trick to make this one so well uh, this is the things that I've done and I hope after watching this tutorial you can make it and I challenge myself to make this one I presented for you and for those who are not yet familiar enough about this how to utilize the tools inside Canva alright so before I continue further I would like to introduce myself my name is Sir Sarma I come from Indonesia and I live in Bali guys if you are not yet I have a Canva Pro account so you may use this link that I put on my video descriptions you can use this link because this is an official link and I was affiliated with Canva if you hit that button, if you use that link, I will get some tokens from Kava. Yeah, small tokens, but it's a big help for me. Anyway, if you are already Kava Pro users, you don't have to do it. You just keep watching. That's fair enough. All right, so thank you for your attention and for you to know that the benefit of having Kava Pro account, guys, it is really benefit. You can use all the elements inside without limitation. All you can access. That's the reason why if you are having a Canva Pro account. All right, so without further delay, let's go straight to the case that we just find out in here. And I hope this uh, tutorial will help you guys. And at least you know the trick how to execute this kind of design. So this is the file of mine in here, distortion text. And uh, I would like to let you know, I will jump to the next page. And uh, I use this word is a distortion text in here. And uh, if you like to uh, know what kind of font that I use here, just in case you like to use it later. So the name of the font here is Alternate Gothic Number no. 1. So you can get it in here. So if you are not familiar, so you can get it in uh, font options in here. On your page, you can see that one and it's easy to get that one. All right, so after this one and... Uh, the next page I'm going to uh, break down for you guys distortion text in here alright so to get this um, distortion text around here as you can see this is uh, the area of and you should see the, the directions in here so only this part get distortion text or the other part still firm and nothing happens so I'm going to let you know the first thing is you need to turn this text in here right so how many degrees 130 degrees you need to turn so turning all the way so 130 okay so once again i would like to demonstrate it for you guys so hold your mouse and turning 130 if you are reaching already 130 so you can stop it yes exactly 130 all right same like this now i'm going to return this one back after you get this position in 130 degree, you need to copy this one, copy by Control C and after that go to another page, empty page, okay, paste on it. And I'm going to um, change the color of this so that we can see clearly, uh, let's say it's blue. This one's still in there and in this position like this and after that download it, uh, just click this share on the top of yes on the top on the right corner on the top it is here and uh click download and make sure you change this um format become png or you can use this one uh as uh, vg yeah both you can use you can use png and you can use svg it's up to you i just like to let you know uh slide forward the quality so it's up to you if you like to make it full or just about here and the last thing is do not forget to thick this transparent background because we need to get this one transparent if you don't thick this one um, it might 
the background of this uh, color, the color background, it might come together. After that, click all pages and after that hit current page. So current page, so it will tell you what kind of, what page are you going to download it. Now, click done and after that, download it. After downloading this one, guys, uh, you need to upload back again, okay? So you need to put back again, All right? So I'm going to let you know, upload files and here, put it back here. So because I have mine in here, I've been trying. So now this original one, just put in here because we will use it later. Yeah, because we can still type. So that's why I'm saying that still original text and the the text that we um download it now upload back and put on your working area and we adjust a little bit turn turning to the normal position okay and uh make sure all the size is just in the same size no small one no big one now it's time to make a distortion effect and to apply so once again guys if you like to apply the distortion effect you need to change the format of this word become png or svg after this one now we need to um apply the distortion effect where we get this one so edit image and scroll down so you can still find out this one from the old yeah from the old part so if a new update of this Canva, you will not find out. But just go to the old one if you are on on a new update. So go back and uh, find out Liquify. So that's the effect that you need to go. Liquify. So I would like to highlight for you guys here. So here, just Liquify. Click see all and you will get this. Uh, there's a lot of uh, like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight options in here but the only two options here this one is working all right first one is wobble yes let's try wobble so this is the distortion uh, wobble so this one you can um yeah you can uh, make a distortion like this okay and the size you can arrange but yeah it's not that option that i'm going to use it so the option that i'm going to use is um the liquify effect that I'm going to use this one is a uh, shake. This is the good one. So click back again after you click that one. So we need to click back again and find distortion. Slide backward. All right. Slide backward. And after that, uh, thick distortion is a uh, slide forward. So you can arrange it up to you guys. Okay. So you can uh, make it bigger this one. All right, so this is the distortion that I told you guys. This is the area. And uh, now, if you are happy with this uh, distortion, you can apply. After applying this one, so as you can see, the result of this uh, distortion is uh, all this word here is straight and only this part is get distortion. So how, how can I make this one? Right. If you are questioning about that, so this is the trick how I make this one. The trick is I edit image and after that, I click it and go to background remover so guys remind you again if you are not yet Canva pro account you will not have this access so if you are you can go through the aim of using this background remover just to get this erasing eraser tools so that we can erase some words in here all right so there's nothing to erase there's no background to erase but we need to erase this word in here all right, so I will choose and it's up to you which one and I will choose this one. Okay, and this one as well. This oh, and so I would like to give a straight word so that there is no distortion effect on it. And I will erase this one. So that's the benefit. So if you are good to go, so you just click done. You can see the result. And if there's still some remaining, you can still go back to use erase. And after that, um, you can check the original text uh, that has been erasing. Okay, I'm happy with this. And there's still some more here. There's a little dot in here. So you can still go back and remember and here. So you can make it small. 
all right so there you go and make it done and after that apply so after applying this one now we are uh, having some missing word in here so don't worry you can use the original one and as you can see we need d and i and just uh erase this one and after that copy and apply in here we need to put it here this yes there you go now we got here and uh and after that we need this uh this is a dst all right so now we get this one copy and put in here okay so put it back here sorry and put it back here and arrange and put on the right position okay and after that one more one more time is a uh, d i s we need to copy this one just copy and put on here all right so guys we almost there so finally tada i'm done and yours is just the beginning right so if you follow the um, the trick and you follow the steps i am sure 100 percent you can make this um distortion effect on this word so uh, as the final one there you go so guys if you like to give some um, shadow so all you're gonna do is uh, you need to group and uh, for that share and go download it and make sure you change the become png and transparent and uh, check current and after that you can download it all right so it, this is an additional additional just in case you guys like to add a shadow on your on this final design and then i will upload back and um, here you go okay and i will just move a little bit this one in here and this one i will put it back the one that i downloaded and i will upload back in here and then click edit image and look for the shadow there's a uh, six options of the shadow it's up to you which one shadows are you going to use but it, it will give you an artistic shadow over here so i will choose this one let me try yes this one here so this one here distortion so how about that guys i am sure that you can make it after watching this tutorial thank you guys so, so this is the funnel and this is all the um, options that are made and uh, again guys you follow these uh, steps you need to turn 120 degrees if you like to get uh, the distortion uh, effect like this. But if you like to get um, the distortion effect like this, you need to turn the font become 45 degrees and so on and so on. So try and challenge yourself and make it happen. So do not just watch and after watching this, try by yourself so that you can tell others that you can do it. Distortion text just in comfort without using other applications or third applications again thank you guys and if you think this uh, tutorial is useful for you guys you can subscribe to this channel to support but if you don't like to get any notification from this channel you don't have to subscribe you just keep watching that's fair enough once again thank you and see you again for the next tutorial bye bye